March 31st, 1999 in downtown Louisville at Norton's Hospital, a healthy baby by the name of George Michael Wells began his life. I was my mom's firstborn. She was young at that time, and I was welcomed into her life with love and care. I would describe my early childhood to be very average. There were moments of happiness, and there were also moments that weren't so happy. At a young age, I began to play t-ball. I was three years old when I first began to play at Valley Sports. I remember being on the field and playing t-ball as one of the happier moments of my childhood. I always looked forward to being able to go out and play. At nine years old, I had transitioned into playing baseball. As years passed, my love for the game grew even stronger. I began to develop friendships with the other people on my teams throughout the years. Being able to go out and play with my friends was time that I cherished. Going into middle school, I began to notice the kids around me growing and getting bigger and stronger while I was only about 5 foot and not even 100 pounds. This put me at a large disadvantage and being a catcher didn't help, but my talent and love for baseball overcame it. I was picked on for my size and weight by peers and adults, including coaches and teachers, who I will never forget to this day. One in particular who specifically told me I was too small and skinny to be a catcher. I remember one class in 8th grade, this teacher held a poll asking the students what sport I should move to that didn't involve being taller and stronger. I had never been more humiliated in my life, and honestly, as much as it hurt, it helped me become a better version of myself. High school was when it got even worse. My freshman year, I was teased more than any other in my life, and even though they were jokes and I played them off, I didn't handle them as well as everyone thought. It hit me mentally and began impacting my self-confidence. I lost friends, I began losing social skills, I couldn't talk to girls, and I didn't do much besides baseball. The friends I had then I knew would always have my back from then on out, even if it meant they weren't as cool. Going to practice didn't make it better either, because the comments would continue, even if they weren't direct. My sophomore year, a gradual progression of baseball had caused me to be diagnosed with a stress fracture in my spine. At the time, I didn't know it, so I continued playing baseball a whole month before getting the MRI. I had the choice of playing through the pain, or to stop playing and let it heal. Being told it would never fully heal, I decided to stop playing the only thing I knew since I was 3 years old, which only added on to being very skinny. I decided to finally do something instead of sitting around and feeling down for myself. For Christmas that year, I had asked for some weights to put in the garage. It wasn't much but a flat bench, a few weights, and a barbell. Not knowing much, I was out there every other night trying to get bigger and stronger, but unfortunately, the stereotype of lifting weights and being dumb isn't true. There is a lot of knowledge behind building lean muscle. I would research every night more than anything I would ever done before, learning the diet and certain exercises because I was determined to get to where I wanted to be. Eventually, I had gotten my first gym membership and started going to the gym regularly with the go on a plan. With determination, I prevailed through hardships and days I didn't want to go, I would force myself to. Fortunately, I welcomed the hardship and didn't decide to take the easy route of putting synthetic chemicals in my body. Two years later, I've noticed some beginning progress and I am now ready to see what my future has in store. Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, for me, life is continuously being hungry. The meaning of life is not simply to exist, to survive, but to move ahead. To go up, to achieve, to conquer. This quote speaks out to me to only become a better version of myself. If I have one last thing to say to my peers, it would be this. Do not ever let someone tell you that you are not capable of something. Never give up. Have a goal. Make a plan. Achieve greatness.